All right, I'm Corey Williams, president of Family First Life Genesis, and I'm with uh, my good friend Tim Bilo, president of Family First Life Worldwide in Cape Girardeau, Missouri. Uh, we put a couple podcasts here on the last couple of days, uh, just trying to help new agents, new people to family first so that they understand uh, just some of the products that are out there. Uh, the one we're going to discuss today is Transamerica uh, Immediate Solutions. Very, very good product. Uh, Tim writes a ton of Transamerica. That's why he's doing the training today. Uh, over the last seven weeks, uh, Tim has helped over 30 families um, and has issued just over 40K. So he understands the product very, very well. And uh, so that's where we're putting this out here. Uh, the information I'm getting ready to give you before Tim starts um, is on the grids. So with the breakdowns of product, um, but based on the age, how much premium they can get, et cetera. So the, um, the basics of this product, uh, the immediate solution, it's zero to 85. Maximum benefit is 50K. Um, simplified issue uh, up to that, that certain amount, 50,000. So uh, zero to 55 in reference to the age is $50,000 max coverage. 56 to 65 is 40K. 66 to 75 is 30,000. And again, 76 to 85 is uh, 25,000. Hope I gave those right. Uh, Tim, I know you'll confirm that. So uh, without further ado, uh, Tim, I'm going to share the screen so that it makes you the host. And then that way you can pull the information up on your screen here. So looks like you are now the host, my friend. All right. All right. Well, good at, or evening, everybody. We yeah. are going to share the screen here. What we're going to do we, is run. What's that? We good? We can see. Okay. Yeah. Good. What we're going to do real quick is just run through a final expense uh, for Transamerica, which is their immediate solutions. Uh, we're going to concentrate. One of the things that Transamerica does that really no other carrier does, um, I think as well as what they do is they go from zero to 85 on the immediate solution. So if you've got somebody who maybe has some health issues that's not gonna quite qualify for term, but yet is under that, that 40 age where maybe Aetna can pick them up, but uh, uh, it's just a little bit too young. I had a gentleman the other day, 34 years old, that uh, was not able to get any term because of some uh, medicine and health conditions, but was able to pick up a uh, immediate solutions uh, from Transamerica and got the coverage he won. He could qualify for up to $50,000. So with that said, what we're going to do is a couple things we're going to hit on tonight is getting into Transamerica's site can be a little tricky if you've never done it before. Wasn't a big fan a year ago, but I dug into it and figured some things out. So um, we're going to start from logging in, um, you know, getting uh, to uh, to an app and basically doing what we call a quote, running some quotes so that to give the options to the folks themselves. So uh, real quick, we're going to pop this open. And let me see if I can move this. There we go. We'll move this up and over. So. So the first thing that we're going to do is, again, go to www.agentnetinfo.com. And what's going to happen here is I've already got my username and password already preloaded into it. If you've never gone here before, you need to register as a new user. Pretty self-explanatory. Should be able to figure it out. Not going to cover that tonight. Uh, we're going to jump right into the quoting tool and then also the app as well. So over here on the side, this is, again, first time you see this, a lot of stuff going over here on the side. We're just going to concentrate on a couple areas. We're going to concentrate on the iGo eApp, and we're going to concentrate on Launch My Transware, where we can go and actually uh, do a quote. And then, of course, the pending reports. Uh, I'm not going to talk about that tonight. But uh, anyway, we're going to go ahead. Hey, Tim, and, before you do that. Yes, sir. I want to make sure I throw this out there because I know I've had an issue with it before too. Sometimes when you go out there to launch my transware, uh, sometimes uh, you have the pop-up blocker. If for some reason when you click on that, it doesn't come up on the screen with what Tim's going to show you, uh, just go in and turn your pop-up blocker off on your device or uh, the people at Transamerica are nice enough to walk you through. You can tell them what device you have and they'll literally walk you through what you have to do. All right, take, thanks, Tim. So here's the next page to go into. We got the trend setter, which we already did that video. What we're gonna do is come down here and just click on the final expense solutions. Now, the, the, the great thing about this is 
it's the same quoting tool for you know trendsetter for for the super yada 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 and i'm not going to get into all all those tonight but uh we're just going to be looking at the final expense immediate solutions transamerica does have a 10 pay which means if somebody just wants to pay on a a policy for 10 years and then it's paid up they don't have to have to pay on it again they can certainly do that uh the difference is you're basically going to pay pro well not probably you're going to pay about twice as much uh for that policy uh, to get it done in 10 years and if some people who um, have the finances to do that uh, highly recommend you do it but we're just going to concentrate on immediate solutions uh, when you click on that it's going to pull up the low default and you'll see up here it changes right here immediate solutions now this stuff here on on the left side you don't have to worry about it just just completely ignore that but what we want to concentrate on you don't need a client's name uh, you don't really need to put their uh, birthday in so what we're going to do is we're going to look at somebody, let's just say they're 50 years old. Let's just call them uh, they're in the good state of Missouri. And they're a male. And let's just say, you know what, they're a they're preferred non-tobacco user. Here's where it can get a little tricky. You're like, well, where do I go from here? Well, there's some options down here. What you need to do is click on solve. Okay. Now, the face amount, like Corey was talking about, you know, zero to 50,000 depends on the age. So this person is 50 years old and you know we can go up to 50,000 for them. Now, gotta watch here. Over here on the left-hand side, there's this tab called reports. Click on it and you're gonna get summary and illustration. Summary is going to give you basically the 50-year-old preferred non-smoker, annual $50,000, and then it's gonna give you quarterly and then quarterly PAC. And what PAC means is you're just paying for it with a uh, bank account, uh, but the monthly is going to be one thirty eight twenty nine for fifty thousand dollars. Okay, so uh, the good thing about that is um, if we were doing, which you'll see in the other video, some different options as well. Uh, they don't give you, they don't render you three different uh, choices. So if you want to run something for forty thousand, you got to come back in here and uh, do it for forty thousand as well. The illustration on this uh really is is there there's not much there because again this is just immediate solution uh final expense coverage uh so don't really you're, you're never really going to look look at that too much but on the summary side as you can see forty thousand for the same 50 year old is going to be 111 35. again write those numbers down uh give them three options at, at least two uh sometimes three so i always leave this one open uh it's always on on my ipad i, I never turn this one off but once you figure out where you're going with this and, and, and what fits into their budget the best, um, we're gonna go back to, again, the tab, and we're gonna go to iGo eApps, okay? We're gonna click on that. Now, again, there might be a better way of getting there. This is the way that I know. When you click on that, you're gonna click on Trans Senior Markets, and then down here at the bottom, you're gonna click iGo eApp right there. And then you're going to need to put in your username and password. And the Sam, you're putting that in. Uh, if you're familiar, um, I don't like mixing carriers, but if you're familiar with uh, Mutual of Omaha, the application mm -hmm. is going to be very similar. They use the iGo platform. So, and Tim, I think there's several ways to get to Transamerica to get here, but the way you just showed is the simplest way for sure. <laughs> yeah, it, it, you for because transit you can go to www.transamerica.com, whole nother different site uh, where you can look at your business, but you can you can access everything right here on AgentNet info. So you don't really need to go to transamerica.com unless you just need need to waste some time. Um, but right here, what what we're going to do is we're just going to start a new case. Uh, there's also view my cases the. Uh, uh, applications that you've already done. Uh, you can actually view them, but we're going to go ahead and start a new case. And I'm actually just going to run through one here real, real quick, uh, just, just so that people understand what it's going to be. And uh, we're actually going to, you know, let's just call him Fred Flintstone, okay? And uh, Flintstone. And let's just say Fred Flintstone was born 1030 of 19... Uh, 65. And what's going to happen, it'll show you the age. You're going to need to come down here, click male or female. And then as we come down here, 
Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's see here. I messed up here. Let's go. No, we're good. We're good. So we're going to go down here to Missouri. And then we're going to press product type. Now, again, whole life and final expense can be one and the same, but this is a totally different product down here. So you always want to hit final expense for the immediate solutions. Okay. And then we're going to find the product. And then there it is, solutions, final expense. And then we're going to go ahead and select that. And we are going to populate here in just a second. And again, writing agent. Uh, I'm just going to use, use myself as the writing agent, last name. Uh, again, guys, the only thing you really have to, the stuff that's lit up or that's that yellow color is really what you have to be concerned about. 178, 153, 76. And then we're going to go ahead and put the agent email in there. Uh, bah -bah, at gmail .com. And Corey, if you want need to stop for anything, you just let me know. Uh, guys, over you. here on the left-hand side is kind of the, I call it the agenda uh, of, of what, what we're going to be doing. Uh, so again, when it's red, that means you're, you're not quite done here. And as we scroll on down, they're asking for a phone number. So we're going to put that in real quick as well. And then as long as, as long as it lights up blue, you're in good shape to move. Okay. And again, notice this right over here is no longer red. It is green telling me to proceed forward. Um, so here we go. We have the proposed insured Fred Flintstone, uh, age 56. Fred is a U.S. citizen. And let's just go ahead and make up a 523. Thousand, okay, and uh, place of birth, United States, birth state, bedrock, there's no state, so we'll call him Missouri. Um, let's see here, Missouri, and mar marital status, he is married, uh, occupation, um, let's just say, let's just say he's retired, okay, so again, as we scroll down, still read over here, not done yet, uh, let's just put one, two, three, um, Ed Rock Drive. And then we're going to go here. Let's go city. Let's just go Cape Girardeau. Sometimes it'll autofill for you, which is great. Um, here we go, Missouri. And then, of course, zip code 63701. And then we're going to go down here, keep scrolling. It says, is mailing address same as physical address? Yes, it is. And driver's license, yes or no. If, if, if you click no, they're still going to let you go on. But if they do have a driver's license, you need to go ahead and, and put, put that in. They will ask for a state ID later on. Um, so Missouri, let's go driver's license number. We'll make one up here, 165 6001. Um, let's say it expires, come on, 12, 12, 23 of, nine, of 20, 25. Um, okay, so email address, fredf at gmail.com. Now that might not give me a, uh, a email could not be validated. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and put no email. Uh, inside there. Telephone number 573. Let's go 275 5555. And again, keep strolling along. Click here to validate primary insured. It may or may not <laughs> validate me, but we're going to see here for, oh, well, there you go. We were. So uh, that's good. So we're going to keep moving on. Uh, and here comes the medical questions. Unlike the trendsetter, not nearly as long. So uh, again, guys, just just take the time and 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 go through the questions and ask them, uh, uh, have them answer them as honestly as they can. Um, so again, because you don't need any surprises. So prior to age, you know, let's just say Fred's pretty healthy. Uh, currently, he's not bedridden or anything like that. He doesn't uh, HIV and um, you know has never had any type of organ transplant. So let's scroll on down here. Does not have Lou Gehrig's disease. No diabetic coma. Amputation. Uh, no. Now I will tell you, just pause here for a second, where Transamerica is really good. Um, if somebody's got COPD, Transamerica 
uh, is pretty lenient on that stuff, and so is Aetna. Uh, but uh, even some of the diabetic stuff, uh, Transamerica is really good at. And Transamerica is going to come in as one of the cheaper uh, options, uh, especially younger people. Um, like, for instance, uh, Mutual Omaha starts at 45. Uh, between the ages of 45 and 50, Mutual and Transamerica are pretty close on price. But after that, um, Transamerica is cheaper from that point on. At least that's what I, I found out. So um, there's no cancer uh, in the last two years. And again, guys, what you want to, especially new agents, if they had a heart attack or whatever, or any in this situation, any type of uh, cancer in, in, in the last two years other than basal cell, Again, during the last two year period, just like during the last two year, has he had a heart attack? If it was three or four years ago, you just check no. Again, slow down and read the questions. During the last two years, have you tested for treatment hospitalization or, or I'm not even gonna read all, all of that, but again, no. Uh, Fred's never attempted suicide, which is great. Never been incarcerated on, on parole, been convicted uh, driving while intoxicated. Go ahead and, know, and notice over here that immediately turned green. And so we can pro proceed on. And again, uh, have you ever been diagnosed or treated uh, prior to the age of 20 with diabetes? Uh, we're going to say no. Um, prior to 26 with Crohn's disease, no. Uh, any type of TIA, no. Um, let's go back up, up here and look at this. Um, prior to age 20, diabetes. Um, again, they're, they're pretty friendly. Uh, when it comes to diabetics. So, so again, but man, when you're, you're talking before the age of 20, that's, you know, you're, you're getting into some serious situations there. Now, again, have you ever been diagnosed with treated for tested positive for cirrhosis, heart failure, uh, congestive heart failure, uh, guys, congestive heart failure is going to knock a lot of pe people out. Uh, but again, uh, cardio, uh, I can't even think how you pronounce the rest, cardiomyopathy, um, Transamerica is okay with it. They're one of the only companies that, that is. Um, so cirrhosis of the liver, no. Hepatitis, had a lady the other day that uh, tested positive for hepatitis C, but actually got cured of it. They just wanted to know why, what happened. And, you know, like for instance, let, let's just take a look here. Uh, has the hepatitis C been cured? Uh, it was, and then they're gonna ask you the 24 month zero 24 months after treatment ended, more than 24 months. So, so again, just, just answer uh, appropriately. So during the last four years, been diagnosed or treated for, uh, for any type of basal cell uh, carcinoma. Um, this was asked earlier on two, in two years. Again, what that will do, if it's been in four years, it may take them from a preferred to a standard, which is okay because they're still getting day one coverage. But in this case, we're gonna say no uh, during the last two years, uh, no alcohol abuse or anything like that. Uh, during the last two years, uh, any time, basically uh, nursing home or needing any help just to do the daily living stuff. Uh, we're not gonna use a wheelchair uh, in the last one year. Again, kind of what when we did the recording of this that didn't get recorded, uh, it's one of the only companies that asked during the last one year. So. Uh, anyway, I don't know why, but but I've never seen any other company uh, that we work with do that. So no, uh, notice they say more than six seizures. Why that is, they, they've got their reasoning. Heart attack or stroke, no. Uh, Fred doesn't use any oxygen. And again, heart angina, chest pain, uh, so on and so forth. We're gonna go ahead and say no. And again, that turned green so we can proceed forward. And we're gonna go to the last part of the medical. Uh, prior to 45, any basal cell, we're going to say no, bipolar or schizophrenia. Um, had somebody that was bipolar, but we got them through. Um, the drugs that they were on weren't that, uh, wasn't that hard. Um, Parkinson's, if you go ahead and if you hit that again, you're okay. But again, they're going to look at that and uh, ask if it was COPD, so on and so forth. So again, um, don't let that scare you. Just answer it as honest as you, as you can. We're not here to uh, uh, misrepresent by any means because if something were to happen and we and somebody answered it wrong on the application, they could get denied coverage. And that's the last thing that you want. So 
uh, kidney disease, no illegal drugs during the last four years, been uh, convicted or pleaded guilty, and then heart attack and stroke, no, and then used insulin, had more than five seizures. Uh, we're going to say no to that as well, and angina. As you can see, some of these questions, they, they do get repeated. So again, turn green. We're going to move this on. Hey, Tim, can you go back really quick? Yep. <clears throat> to part three. So go ahead and scroll to the bottom there. So one of the things that you'll see on there, yep, since you right answered all of the questions of part three, no, they're potentially eligible for preferred. So this is kind of a smart application. So if you would have answered some of the questions differently, it may say some, there we go. So it says standard. So you don't yep. even have to, I mean, you're, you're doing your, your field underwriting, but the application is really doing the work based off the questions that you ask. So I wanted to point that out because that's pretty yep. important, especially if you gave them preferred rates and you see it flip to standard then you'll know that going in when you get ready to do exactly. the right difference. Thanks, Tim. And, and guys, the difference between preferred and standard uh, on Transamerica, it's not that much. Um, so um, don't get freaked out, out about that. But again, medical history, notice the first part was pretty serious, serious stuff. And then they start, to start, I wouldn't say lighten up, but, but again, people can, can answer yes to that and you know, basically still qualify for a standard. Which, which is still day one coverage and, and that's awesome. So again, glad you brought that up. And we'll move on to the next one, primary care. Uh, typically somebody older is gonna have a primary care physician. Um, you know, let's just real quick here, doc, let's see here. Dr. Feelgood. Um, so we'll put him down there. Um, <laughs> so, so again, in the past 12 months, we're going to talk about a little cigarette stuff. Now, guys, here's where you got to check your height and weight chart. If you walk into somebody and, you know, the, you can tell they're overweight, um, go to your grid sheet and look at that. Um, that's why I always get when I'm doing the financial inventory, I tell them, hey, I, I have to check your ID just to make sure you're who you say you are. And I'm writing their information down on the financial inventory. Because at this point, I'm not gonna ask them. I'm gonna know where I'm going before beforehand. Uh, but again, if, if uh, um, you know, if, if their license says 150 and it's obvious they're about 280, um, you know, you gotta do what's right. You gotta pivot to somebody else like a Royal Neighbors or Aetna that doesn't ask for a bill chart. But anyway, so we're gonna say uh, Fred is five foot, uh, let's call him five foot 10. Uh, and his current weight is, I don't know, let's call him uh, 185, pretty good shape. And approximate weight a year ago. Now I will say this, just put same as current, okay? Um, you, you, you can get into the, into the weeds on that one. Uh, underwriting is gonna come back and ask you a question, this and that, yada, yada, yada. So just, you know, and, and unless they were, you know, 185 on their driver's license and they're 165. Now, that's still not going to change them from kicking them from a uh, preferred to a standard or vice versa. That's the one thing you want to look at on the grid sheet, too, is, you know, whatever weight they are, you know, if they're, you know, one and I'm going to make some if they're 200 on their driver's license and, you know, they look a little bit like, go ahead and ask them, hey, are, is this weight right? Are, are you 200 or are you less? And because that could be the difference between standard and preferred, the weight can shift that. So anyway, just FYI, uh, no existing life insurance, uh, not going to replace anything. So we're gonna move on here. Is the proposed primary insured also the owner of this application? You can say yes, you can say no, if the owner, a person or a trust, you're going to need to put a person, okay? But in this case, we're going to say, yes, they are. Now, we were just talking about this tonight. A lady was getting coverage for her mother. The mother can still be the owner and the insured, and then the daughter pay for the mother's uh, uh, premium or uh, policy. Uh, but they have to show that there's... Uh, you know, insurable interest there, which obviously there is. Uh, so anyway, we'll move on here real quick. We'll wrap this up. Uh, we're going to add a name here, a uh, person, you know, and it is Wilma. 
Flint Stone. Go ahead and get her in there as well. Now here's here's where they're a little bit different. You're going to need you're going to need that person's uh, beneficiary. You're going to need their social. Okay, so say she was born 10 25 1966 and we're going to make that why didn't that show up there it's I, or it's asking or oh did they so you really your date of birth or, or yeah I, i've never actually that's the first time i saw that i gotta be honest usually it asks for social security so you, it's asking for or which is good that must have that may have just changed because like I've literally said it's like yesterday <laughs> yeah I'll be dang. That's awesome. Yeah, that's kind of helpful. Especially if it's kid. I think it's, uh, well, anyway, we, we can talk about that other uh, one later on. Uh, relationship to the insured uh, adopted child. Just go in there and, and, and pick the appropriate one. So on this one, it, it's going to be a spouse. Uh, mailing address. It, obviously, it's the same house, guys. Just, just click that. Save it. Uh, again, I, I, I did talk about this yesterday. Um, you probably would want to add a contingent to that, uh, just to ask, ask them, Hey, you know, if something were to happen to both Fred with you and Wilma at the same time, who would be the next person who would be responsible for taking care of everything? And, um, you know, obviously beneficiary would be Bam Bam or, you know, their son. So anyway, you can put that in there all you want. So. Again, we're going to move on with that. Uh, again, those can always be added later as well. Uh, it says, would you like to list an additional to receive copies? Um, you can say yes to that. And why would you do that is if um, maybe the son's out of state or the uh, beneficiary's out of state, that, that's where that comes in. They could get a copy of that as well. So um, here's where it comes. Preferred non-tobacco product name. Again, that 10 pay we were talking about. We're just going to do an immediate solution here, and then we're going to look at fifty thousand um, dollars. That's right, and uh, and again, oh, that's right. I did it on that. We're going to do forty. My bad. Um, back date to save age, guys. All this means is if Fred's we're at twelve twenty nine. If Fred's birthday was last month or two months ago, and he wants to say, hey. I want to do this at age, whatever he is, 56 on this one at age 55, it'll save him some money, uh, but he's got to be willing to pay those two months worth of premiums uh, in order to do that. Again, if it was, I, I never bring this up because it's not going to be that much money, um, you know, to really affect it. Uh, a term product for 30 years, different story. Uh, again, we're going to pay monthly on this one, payment of method. And again, um, Electronic fund transfer, social security billing, credit card, uh, and or check. Um, I do I do believe, Corey, and correct me if I'm wrong, they probably offer the most uh, options to pay yeah. of all the carriers that we have. By uh, far. And they're the only company yes. we have that offers credit card initial and moving forward. Some people yep. want to do that for points. I believe they're the only provider we have that does that with the credit card. But keep in mind, even though it, you have that option, if you can, I never, ever, I always talk about the bank, banking information. Uh, if they bring up the credit card stuff, then yeah, but credit cards term, they cancel, people do all kinds of stuff yep. with them, but their banks, they don't typically move. Back exactly. to so again, and they are the only company that I know that does Direct Express and pays in advance on Direct Express. Yep. And then we're going to click, uh, oh. Jump ahead here, choose payment. We'll just do bank draft. And then there's the, there it is, 138.39. If policy can't be issued at applied for, would you accept a rated policy? I, I always click yes on this because they're standard. It, it's going to be a little bit more, guys, but but it's not that astronomical. Uh, and what would you do? Adjust the face amount to premium. Uh, again, I'm not going to adjust. I, I, I tell them, find out, is that, What's more important, the amount or the premium? If something were to happen, they say we want to keep it at forty thousand dollars, and then again we're going to say no to that, and then automatic loan. You can do that, um, and then we're going to hit next, pay or uh, proposed 
primary insurer is going to pay. Um, how do they have my name down there? That's weird. That was Fred Flintstones, but anyway. Um, we're just going to make one up here, guys. Uh, routing number 08150-6523. Um, I'm going to do account number. Whoa, that's that's actually my account number. So, <laughs> checking. Uh, and then again, we're going to test. That's, that's dangerous. Uh, click to verify bank. It's probably not going to verify. So, uh, unless that is somebody's bank account. Well, wow. Um, anyway, um, <laughs> it's crazy. So, anyway. Uh, uh, does this thing just skip over again? Oh, that's weird. But anyway, and is this going to be a bank account for initial ongoing? Bank? Yes. Uh, and then draft date. Now, again, notice what they say here, 1 through 28. Uh, you can't do 29, 30, or 31 because every state does it, doesn't have that. So, again, um, whatever that's going to be, 01, 01, 20, 22. So, there you have it. And we're going to go back up here and we're going to get rid of that. Um, we're just going to make up something. There we go. And we're not even going to, well, we're not even going to verify that. But anyway, we're going to move on and we'll just leave that agent's report. Come down here. Uh, is any existing policy or life insurance? No. Will this uh, replace anything? No. Um, and then, of course, the city. Uh, proposed insured signature. Uh, let's just put Cape Girardeau. Or correct me if I'm wrong on this. Um, guys, Transamerica is pretty easy. Uh, it's one of the easier ones to uh, um, email, uh, my, mm -hmm. my opinion. Um, these companies do track where the IP is. So if you're doing- Yeah, a lot of them. What's that? A lot of the times they will. Yeah. So just, just- be aware of that. Uh, they really condensed this down to really to be able to get the email out. It's just a matter of several clicks of a button and they, they can get that taken care of. But again, propose insure where they're going to sign it. Cape Girardeau in this case. Again, Cape Girardeau. So, you know, we're in good, good shape there as well. Um, and then I'm going to scroll down here. Three go and then I'm going to ask are you a family member no is the agent is there going to be a split with another agent no and do you intend to submit multiple applications uh and we're going to hit no on that and again we're going to hit next the good thing is this thing will not send because we got the red mark there um attachments again it's blue light down here go ahead and move on forward and then, of course, it'll say your application is not in good order because we have this red mark over here. That's okay. What you're going to do is go ahead and um, it should say lock down here. You go ahead and lock it, and uh, then you proceed to uh, them signing the um, application. And then it's just a matter of them signing it, you signing it, and then submit it to Transamerica, and then you're good to go. So. Uh, Corey, any questions regarding no, this? As you can see, it's, it's a whole lot quicker than, um, now don't get me wrong, it's not a, it, it, it is not an Aetna app. Aetna has probably got one of the fastest apps uh, out there. Uh, but still, um, you know, they, a lot depends on, I, I did an app the other day, uh, and before I got out of the house, they had already told me that the guy was approved. Now that, that doesn't happen very often. It, this is not an instant decision uh, uh, application, but I was told that between first and second quarter uh, this coming year, they should have an instant application uh, for the immediate solutions, which is pretty exciting. So anyhow, any other questions? Nope, you can stop sharing your screen there. Um, as a recap, go. great job, Tim, as usual. As a recap, again, immediate solutions. You also have the 10 pay. So that means they'll pay for 10 years and they're completely done paying and their policy stays in, in effect forever. Uh, zero to 85, simplified issue. As Tim mentioned, very good product for COPD 
and uh, diabetes, so obviously you'll still have to go through the questions. And then uh, last but certainly not least, the breakdown, but you can find this in the grids as well. Zero to 55, 50K, that, that's the maximum they're eligible for. 56 to 65 is 40K. Uh, 65 to 66 to 75 is 30. And then uh, 76 to 85 is $25,000 max benefit. So Tim, anything you'd say to close out? No, just um, guys, it's Transamerica. Um, they're they're not certainly the highest paying comp, but 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 I, I think it's their comps well over a hundred, if I'm not not mistaken. Uh, but again, mm -hmm. uh, one good thing about them is if you've got an underwriting question, you will actually talk to an underwriter, which is pretty cool. Uh, if you have a problem or a question, you can call Andrew Kelleher or Chris Cantarini. Um, you know, those guys are great to, uh, uh, assist you, to get you to whoever you need to talk to. And, uh, also guys, I, I will tell you this, they got some of the best marketing materials out there and the nicest folders and the nicest policies. So I mean, that's my plug for them, but, uh, go ahead. And, uh, you know, if you want to get a, some of their materials, like their folders, so that when their policy comes in, um, you know, and, and that's the one thing that I will leave with is. This is something I do. You don't have to do it. I tell every client, hey, when your policy comes in, give me a call uh, because I'm going to come back by and I'm going to highlight a few points. And why do I do that? I do that for one reason, you know, obviously educate them on, on their policy as well, but also to they're going to see me again. That's going to solidify that cell. And then while I'm there, hey, you guys got to be pretty excited about the coverage you got. I'm glad you're able to get, you know, whatever it was uh, preferred. Uh, who's the first person you you think think of that could use coverage yep. like that? And, and guys, you'll be surprised at how many people will just start spouting out names, you know. Or hey, you really uh, do, do you do term because you know you know our our son really needs some type of cut coverage. Again, it just can stem. So so that that one lead could lead you down a rabbit hole where you write five, six, seven more policies. Happens all the time. Yep. Absolutely. Well, hopefully you guys got something out of this again. Uh, president of FFL Worldwide, Tim Bilo, President of FFL uh, Genesis, Corey Williams. We'll be doing more of these trainings for sure. Hopefully you got something out of this. Um, bye for now. Be great. Thanks, Bilo.